Did you know that Deoxys came back in the Indigo Disc DLC? Well, the DNA Pokemon has made a triumphant return in the competitive 6v6 singles environment, with Smogon allowing Deoxys speed and defense to be used in the format. Today we're going to be discovering why that decision may be a bad one. Well, for speed anyway, defense can stay in UU. Here are the teams, let me know who you think will win in the comments section down below and stick around till the end to find out if you're right. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Joey. So they're going to lead off with Indeedee, as expected, as we lead off with our Cushel. Now, I was going to lead off with Volcarona because I figured they'd lead off with this, Hatterene, or the Deoxys. Um, but yeah, it turns out I don't have Bug Buzz on this uh, particular Volcarona, um, which is probably a, an error in my half. I don't really have any Dark types or anything like that on this team. I've got Hex on my uh, Pekarunt, but um, the team originally had um, Scrafty on it, which would have been my you know fair, um, Psychic Counter, but... Uh, obviously, that's not how it played out. So let's go for an Aurora Veil real quick. They do withdraw the Indeedee, probably into the Iron Boulder, if I had to guess, or the Iron Crown. Iron Crown comes in. That thing hits very hard in the Psychic Terrain, as we know. It's going to get a Booster Energy boost in its speed, which is devastating to me. We go for an Aurora Veil, though, and that's going to lower the impact of the attacks that we're going to get bombarded with yeah, in, in the next few seconds. So... And um, what's my next switch? I'm going to have to go into Skarmory, I think. I think Skarmory is our best switch. So I am going to do it. And I'm going to try and get the Stealth Frogs up. No, no, no. They, they definitely go Hatterene on the Skarmory. They definitely go Hatterene on the Skarmory. Um, so if that's the case, uh, what do I do? They go Carmine. So <clears throat> we might be all right here. We might be all right here. I am going to go straight for the Body Press because I want to get damage off on this Iron Crown. Because it's Booster Energy and Speed. And it's got Calm Mind up. That's not good. So we want to go for that. They go for an Expanding Force. It's going to sting. It's definitely going to sting. Not as much as I thought it would, though. As we go for a Body Press, and that's going to do about the same as the Expanding Force. So not the worst matchup ever. So they go for a Focus Blast. They hit the Focus Blast. And that stings a little bit more. It really stings a little bit more as we go for a Body Press. There we go. So now I'm leaning towards going for Roost. Because if they're going to go for a Focus Blast... They might miss, so I'm going to go for it. They do go for an Expanding Force, though, which might not KO. Does KO the robot tricks. So, unfortunately, Skarmory goes down, but it's not in vain, because now we've weakened the Iron Crown, it's become less of a threat. The snow has stopped. The Aurora Veil is still up. And they have Expanding Force. Oh, terrifying team, terrifying team. So, let's go into Volk. Volk obviously can hit Iron Crown super effectively with Fiery Dance. We know that much, at least. Um, so with that in mind, knowing they're going to go for an Expanding Force right now, I am going to go for a Fiery Dance. And um, they go for the Expanding Force. Aurora Veil should protect us, though, as it does less than half, which is great. We go for a Fiery Dance. Should get the KO on the Iron Crown. It definitely, definitely has to get the KO on the Iron Crown. As Iron Crown does go down, I love the way it spins its head round as well when it faints. I think that's a really cool little um, touch. So that's awesome. Awesome. In comes the Deoxys. So... <laughs> Deoxys speed. So there we go. Deoxys speed is in. Do we have to worry about this? Yes, we definitely do. Do I want to scout to see what they're going to do? Yes, I definitely do. And I'm going to go for a morning sun to see what they're going to do. If they go for a psycho boost and it doesn't KO, then we're golden. They are actually going to terrestrialize. So what type are they going to go into? I'm kind of, I like it when my opponents terrestrialize early because it lets, it takes away the element of surprise later on down the line. So they're going to terror psychic. They're going for that power. They are going for that power right now, as De Deoxys Speed is going to go for an Expanding Force. Will it KO, though? Because Deoxys Speed doesn't have nearly as good special attack as uh, Iron Crown. It does KO, unfortunately, thanks to the Terror, as our Volcarona does go down. So now we're in a bit of a pickle, because we don't really have anything to hit this thing. Um, we've got the Aurora Veil up, so Kingdra can probably live a hit and go for a Scale Shot. Whether Scale Shot KOs or not, that's another, another story. I think we might actually be able to get away with that. Um, so I'm going to go Kingdra. I think Kingdra is the way to go. I think if Kingdra, Kingdra's doing anything this game, it's uh, taking on this Deoxys speed um, it, with the uh, Aurora Veil up. Please tell me I've got Aurora Veil up. I do for one more turn. One more turn, I've got Aurora Veil. Let's go for a scale shot. It should KO. They go for the expanding force booster by Terra. It's blocked by Aurora Veil, but can we live? Please? We do live, barely. And we get the scale shot off. Which, unfortunately, isn't enough to KO this Deox... Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? If we can hit all five times, it might. No, it won't, it won't, it won't, it won't. 
We hit when you hit four times as well. But it does it does boost our speed though. It does boost our speed. I don't think it's enough to actually outspeed the Deoxys. And the Psychic Terrain has gone. So we might be alright. So I'm going to go for a Scale Shot once again. Um, they do outspeed us though and they go for an Expanding Force which takes out Kingdra. Unfortunately no more Aurora Veil protecting us and also no more Psychic Terrain boosting its power. So Kingdra goes down. But it's not in vain. We still have a chance here. We've got Pecorunt which can do stuff. Um, we've also got the Great Tusk, which can't do anything really. I'd say Alolan Ninetales is our best bet. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Alolan Ninetales. I'm going to get that um, Aurora Veil back up. And that's what I want to do. Because this Deoxys Speed is a threat. A very big threat. So I want to get that Aurora Veil up, definitely. So they withdraw the Deoxys Speed, which is absolutely fine. Probably into the Indeedee, if I had to guess. Yeah, Indeedee comes in. And what we'll do here is, because the Indeedee's coming in to get the Psychic Surge up, I'm going to go for a Moonblast on it. I'm going to get as much damage off as possible, potentially lower its special attack, which would be nice. And Aurora Veil is finally back up. I feel a bit more safer knowing that the Aurora Veil's up. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast now. I'm going to go on the offensive. I'm, I don't want him to switch that Deoxys in, that's all. So we'll go for the Moonblast. Does nearly half, which is nice. Lowers the special attack, which is double nice. There you go for an Expanding Force. And it's not enough to to it here which is great that's what we like to see so with that in mind we've got a uh, we've got a bit of a, mm, let's go for a moon blast let's go for a moon blast again hopefully we can get another special attack drop that'd be nice we do get another special attack drop which is very nice they go for a healing wish probably into the deoxys if i had to guess so indeed he does go down which is nice the psychic surge setter is gone in comes the Iron Boulder, so that's where things start getting tricky. So, I have a sneaky suspicion that we can actually live a Mighty Cleave from this thing. Um, in I, Because of the defense boost Ice types get in the snow and also the Aurora Veil. But I'm wondering whether it's worth it, because here's the thing. I could go for an Encore here, lock into Mighty Cleave, go into Great Tusk, and then go for a massive, powerful Headlong Rush. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Encore. Um, then you go for a Mighty Cleave. We should be able to live one. We do live one, which is great. We go for an Encore, locking them into that. Which then gives us a free switch into our Great Tusk. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, we are weakened. So we do withdraw first, which means they haven't withdrawn. Which means they've gone straight for another Mighty Cleave, which is great. We get a free Headlong Rush off. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to Great Tusk. Get that booster energy and attack, which is always nice. And then Iron Boulder's Iron Cleave, uh, Mighty Cleave, is not going to do much damage to us as it bounces off us like it's nothing, which is great. So the snow does stop, which is great because Ninetales can set it back up when it comes back in. Going to go straight for that Headlong Rush. There is no real reason not to as they do switch out. Are they going to go Deoxys hard? Hatterene. Okay, Hatterene comes in. Hatterene comes in. They're saving the uh, Iron Boulder for later, which makes sense. It nearly goes down to the Headlong Rush, which is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, Hatterene going down is going to be great. They actually have an Eject button. Ah, that's a bit of a pickle. Because that means they get a free switch into their Deoxys Speed, which is exactly what comes in right now. Okay, it's also going to get the Healing Wish, because that's how Healing Wish works, apparently. I didn't know that. I did know that, but I don't understand. I still don't fully understand how the wish and healing wish works, to be honest with you. If you want, anyone wants to explain it to me in the comment section, that'd be amazing. So, we've got one defense drop. We've got Psychic Terrain, but we do have the Aurora Veil. Do I want to sack? I think I might have to sack here. I think I might have to sack, but at the same time, I'm also leaning towards not sacking. No, I think I'm going to sack off, um, I'm going to sack off Ninetales. I think that's the way to go. I think we can still use Great Tusk for the Iron Boulder and the Roaring Moon if need be. And the Hatterene now because it's weakened so much. Um, so I'm going to go into the snow, uh, the snow Cushion thing. And uh, they go for an Expanding Force which is obviously going to take us out. No problems there. No problems there. Because down we go. Now is where things get a bit better for us. So we've got Aurora Veil up. We've got the Toxic... Um, the Peck... Pe Pekka, Pekka Nut. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called at all. We're going to trash it into a flying type, and we are going to go for that Malignant Chain, 
there is a 50% chance that it'll poison the opponent, and if it poisons them, it'll also confuse them. So I'm going to go ahead and terrestrialize and do that. Um, we obviously lose our ghosts and poison de typing defensively, but that's great because expanding force is super effective. So hopefully our base 88 special defense and max invested HP of base 88 can withstand the psychic terrain boosted expanding force under Aurora Veil. That was a tongue twister. So they go for the expanding force. Let's see if this will um, take us out. I wish I was Terra Steel now. They got a crit! No! <laughs> Deoxys speed. You horrible sod. I'm confident that we would have lived that as well. I'm really confident we would have lived that as well and then finished up the game with Great Tusk. But unfortunately, the weirdness now disappears. I should have just let Great Tusk go down. Let the uh, psychic terrain go away, shouldn't I? That's what I should have done. So we'll go Great Tusk. We'll go Great Tusk. Unfortunately, we are going to lose to this um, Deoxys defense. I'm going to go for that headlong rush anyway. Just in case we live miraculously. But it looks like Deoxys speed is once again proving why it's such a dominant threat in the OU tier right now. As that is going to be the game. So GG Joey, that was a pretty fun one. It was a nice 4-0 victory for my opponent. But I think we played well considering um, everything else. Like that crit on the Pecorunt. Pecorunt? Pecorunt? Was unfortunate. But it is what it is. But yeah, there was a lot of things I could have done differently in that game. I, I understand that. And I'll try and learn from it for next time. But... Um, the greatest misplay there was I should have sacked off my Great Tusk to that last expanding force so that the Psychic Terrain would have disappeared, lowering the power of the expanding force on my Pecorunt, and then we might have been able to do something with Pecorunt as a physically defensive bulky monster that it is. So, yeah, things could have gone differently. But again, Mighty Cleave was right there for my Terra Flying on the uh, Pecorunt, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, thank you for watching today's video. If you did want to try the team out, use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.